Right.
I'm Dogda. Cheers, kid.
Welcome to the... Is this demon? Return. I say, I am Konohana Sakuya. It's an honor.
Now then. A moment. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. Ever since time out of mind, the gods would do battle for the right to rule the world. Before the Creator reigned supreme, the throne belonged to Baal, god of the harvest. And even before that, it was held by Ra, the sun god. Every god who assumes the throne obtains its vast power, enough to reshape the world however they see fit. As such, many a god has fallen in pursuit of that power. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. A Nahobino is a god in the fullest, or truest sense. Our original form, if you will. In ancient times, we were all Nahobino. But when the Creator took the throne, he demanded there be no other gods before him, and diabolized us all. He accomplished this by spiriting our knowledge away. Without the knowledge needed to shape a functioning world, we ceased to be divine, and were left to contend with our fallen nature. Our knowledge was sealed within the Garden of Eden. Mortals soon ate of its fruit, binding all knowledge to their souls and all who came after. Ever since the fall of man, demons have vied to steal the souls of humankind and restore their former selves, but they were doomed to fail. Long, it was futile to seek out our knowledge and reclaim our former glory. But with Armageddon fulfilled, the rules have yet again changed. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. The throne of creation exists to prove one's dominion over the Earth. Whoever assumes the throne may determine the world's laws and inner workings, much like how the Creator established his own order. Before the Creator, many other gods fought viciously over the throne and hence the right to rule the world. And in order to save Tokyo, we must do the same. I'll tell you everything I know about Nahobino and the power to reshape the world. The throne of creation lies at the pinnacle of Empyrean Heaven, or simply, the Empyrean, as it has become known. That is where the Creator would be now, were he not ousted by Lucifer, as was claimed. Considering our fusion into a Nahobino, the claim is likely valid. Only Nahobino are allowed in the Empyrean's sacred space. As such, none have entered thus far. But you, however, can. Aogami's true name is Susanoo. As proto-fiend, he was created to inherit the Amatsukami's full power. I myself provided the template. And as I've said before, I am Sukoyomi of the Amatsukami. It is my personal mission to become a Nahobino and rescue Tokyo from the mouth of danger. But to do that, I require your aid. With that said, I must begin investigating a way to reach the Empyrean. I'm fairly certain the secret lies in Ueno given the density of Bethel's security there. So, I will concentrate our branch's efforts on that. I will contact you the moment I turn up a solid answer. Until then, please bear with me. tell you here, 
Would you mind meeting me on the roof? I'll go on ahead. Sorry, I know it's a surprise. Yeah, well, you're not wrong there. It's, um, it's really good to see you safe. The Tao you knew, she did die. And the form I hold now, it is her soul reborn by a power beyond description. As goddess of creation, my purpose is to guide the Nahobino to the throne. It's like the setting sun. Time is almost up. The Empyrean. You can reach it and recreate the entire world. I believe you are the only one who can create a better world. One humanity deserves. What power I have shall be yours. And we can form a new world. As it should be. Until then, I ask only this. Will you let me fight at your side? Thank you. Onward. God's miracle dissipates Tokyo and all within. They're doomed. Should it come to pass, they'll all vanish. If this stirs your heart even a little, then we must make for the throne. Create a new world, one according to your vision. Now take my hand. I'll escort you into Dot and the path to the Empyrean. Your partner is now Director Koshimizu. His true name is Sukuyomi, yes? Please, take me to Bethel, Japan first. It's good to see you, Director Koshimizu. Is it... Isonokami? I almost didn't recognize you. It is I, now awakened as a goddess to guide the Nahobino. Then it's time, and the next recreation is at hand. I shall guide you, into Dot, where the Empyrean lies. I ask that you become ruler and forge a peaceful world for humanity. Let us be off. 
Are you prepared to go? A new realm of Dot. And this one leads to the Empyrean. The path to the Empyrean. It has also been called the Temple of Eternity. Long before the first human being, the entity who oversaw this world created a bridge to the throne. However, Bethel Headquarters has hidden the keys to access it. And so the path remains closed. There are three keys in total. It used to be that Bethel guarded them for safekeeping. But now, the branches that possess them think only of their own gain. So the first thing we need to do is get those keys ourselves. Director, perhaps you could detect the energy of divine instruments such as these? Yes, I am indeed picking up three sources of incredible power and hordes of demons around them. Yes. That should be what we're looking for. The keys of austerity, benevolence, and harmony. I say we'd better hurry up and find them. But keep an eye out. I'm sure you can guess how many Nahobino aspirants are after the keys themselves. That won't do. Return.
That face. I don't sense your demon counterpart. She died, shielding me from Tiamat. I see. I'm leaving Dot behind. I'm dropping out of this race for the throne. Not that I could chase it even if I tried. Not now that I've lost my other half. Why did Nuwa sacrifice herself to save you? Who can say? I tried to kill Nuwa once. I was about your age at the time, boy. But she didn't try to stop me. Didn't even resist. In the end, the only reason she lived that day is because I couldn't bring myself to do it. Maybe that's why she joined me. Because she saw how much of a hypocrite I really was. I didn't have what it took to rule this world. Perhaps I have. Maybe it's true that you weren't meant to take the throne, or reshape the world, but I think being inconsistent is just part of being human. I'm sure we've all got disconnects like that in us, even me or him. But it seemed to me like she really, truly loved humanity. That means flaws and all. Perhaps. I'm going back to the other Tokyo. I owe her my life. So now I'll have to figure out how I'm going to spend it. So that was Shohei Yakumo. I remember the Saint mentioned him sometime previously. I opened an investigation into him at the time. Though I suppose the results hardly matter anymore. If you want to know more, I'd ask one of the researchers at the Japan branch.
forgive me, Lord Shiva.
capable of transcension after all.
young man. Well, well. So you're the Nahobino whose name is on everyone's lips. You should know Bethel has ordered your death. I usually don't care to follow the Angel's orders. Yet neither can I simply ignore your claim to rule. Answer me this, Mahobino. What lies in your heart as you seek the throne? When you look upon the denizens of this world, do you see hope? Or despair? I see. Very good. Then let us pit your blade against my spear, and see whose resolve wins out. Do not worry. Death at my hand shall earn you your place in Valhalla. Trying to pull, Odin. I'm not just gonna let you have all the fun. You're here for the keys, boy? Lucky you. The Old Father and I will grant you a real clash of the gods. You wanna see what happens to fools who dare to cross Bethel? Come face your end. Clouds! <laughs> 
Hell of a fight, boy. That's a loss I can accept. More readily than Bethel will, I suspect. Much as they'll object, the keys of benevolence and harmony are yours. You now have all three keys, representing the three pillars of the Empyrean. That means you've earned the right to ascend to the heavens. Now, make your way to the Temple of Eternity, where the entrance to the Empyrean lies. Yes, 